talk to you like this because we've been doing a lot of scenery and out and about videos. So we're back in the car today on our way to Clifton, aren't we? Yeah. To replenish the stocks of biscuits and crisps. We, we ate, ate all the celebrations. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, there were only five. Say that there was five left in the tub. But still, we ate the celebrations. We were the outlaws from planet Jupiter, the circuitry of life, coursing through our little bodies. And it was the plan of Venus all along for demonic summer nights. The full of conscience, the need for risk on the evening of that fateful dawn. Whilst you can probably see beautiful scenery, it's a bit sunny inside for us. So we'll do our best. The camera's doing its best to. Apparently this is quite scary to me. <laughs> when, yeah. When, when, Stop when, it, when, it's when, dead. And that happens. I mean, they're going to be having great videos of me squinting. Squinty videos is what people... Squinty McGee. No, 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 no. Squinty videos is not what people want. Swedish people, who are female, would like to see you reverse your car down the street at high speeds. Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably illegal. Just so you know. I don't think it's illegal. I oh, think it's just a little bit of a weird. I just think it's all oh, traffic. I just think that it's a little bit weird to get a private message on YouTube from some, not weird. It's just a little bit out of the blue private message on YouTube from a random person in Sweden saying, "Boys in my town think that women can't drive." I'm not allowed to drive until I'm 18 at the end of the year. I can see that you have a woman driver on your videos. She drives very well. She drives thanks for the compliment. Yeah, she drives very well. So can you get her to reverse drive up a street at speed? Because apparently they're bad at reverse driving, women in Sweden. Not I mean, park, not reverse park, reverse drive. I mean, the English translation obviously wasn't fantastic, but... I'm not I'll... great at reversing anyway. I don't do it often enough to be confident. But she used a lot of exclamation marks and like to capitalise, um, put caps lock on for certain words. So, first impressions of Ireland now that we've been here for just over a week. What do you reckon? I think I've been here before. Yeah, I mean, I've been here before as a, a wee little boy. I've been here before and remember this. Yeah, and you rather annoyingly do remember certain bits of... Oh, I remember this! Oh, yeah, oh I, I remember that! Yeah. But, like, but nothing like, specific. The most yes. vague context ever. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's my memory. Oh, those Irish biscuits, they taste nice. We were the outlaws from planet Jupiter The circuitry of life Coursing through our... Welcome back, by the way. Well, I could get out the indoor because I waited for someone to come in. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's next on the list? Mid Lyle. Just... Amazing Mid Lyle jump. Irish lactose free milk. Protein milk as well, because in case your milk doesn't have enough protein in it. Irish light. Irish butter. Tin, tin stuff is all along the tops, isn't it? I think. From my little experience of an Aldi store, which is the one near my grandma's house. <laughs> I haven't been in the one in Dickcott. my major rage about places like this it's the stuff that they compare their you're saving loads of money with is the brand in the supermarket so you've got Heinz Beans versus Aldi's Bramwell own if you get Morrison's own versus their own it's the same price so the supermarket can sometimes be cheaper it's just what happens when you don't have two euros for a trolley and someone someone didn't think the shopping list was that big how much do you think it might come to 20 euro. put it in with 20 euro i'm gonna go closer to 40. No. so 
what did that come to? 'Cause twenty euros was a little bit Well give it if we had only got Jasper's toy. Jasper's toy was four. Coca-Cola wasn't on the list. Yeah, but that's what you were gonna get. Stuck to the list. There you go, there's some reversing backwards for our friends in Sweden. Finland, Sweden. Mm, I think it's Sweden. <laughs> anyway, we've just been to Aldi. <laughs> and we will now go to Lidl. She's literally down there. We were the outlaws from planet Jupiter, the circuitry of life, coursing through our little bodies. And it was the plan of Venus all And I seriously think whichever one came first, the shop must have been asexual and just spawned another brand of shop. So it's exactly the same. So you've just seen the montage of us shopping in an Irish Aldi. Uh, we're now going to walk around an Irish Lidl and try and spot the difference. I mean, there's people out there that shop in them that know the difference, but... Lidl's more... Lidl's gone more any... M&S. No, what? Yeah, no look, at, no, look at these signs. Yeah, the signs, but it's more like... I mean, that is like the... Brands not in English. Biggest M&S rip-off you've ever seen in the world. I really love these, like, in... Yeah. This is your indoor, this is your outdoor. It's the naked walk around the whole shop, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, no, no, yeah, but this is deceptively more upmarket feeling, straight away. All of that sort of. Yeah, you see what I mean? They've, they've gone. They've gone M&S Morrison's proper supermarket. -y. Are you doing a cookie monster dance? Yes. Yeah, like I would properly go for like an apple turnover and stuff. I know, like nut selection. But isn't, am I right in saying that Lidl is Irish of origin before it came to the UK? Or it's, or it's more of the market leader yeah. than what Aldi might be. Yeah, like And they put the S on the end of So when they don't put an S on the end of Euro, they then transfer that to the shop, is that? Yeah. Okay. You're getting all of this sort of wax labely sort of malarkey. Yeah. yeah. This is deceptively more upmarket than what that Audi was. Yeah. I'm really impressed. We mocked them. Yeah, I mean, look at the. Yeah, we've not been in a lid on, remember? Bluetooth speakers. Samsung there. I mean, I'm not going to buy it. Euro 99. 50 euro. Thumbs, optical mice. I mean, you did it, it's not a bad price. Yep, just in case you needed it. Just in case you needed it. For all those Irish Barcelona fans out there. So, look, I mean, that's not a word I would usually associate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Here we go. Have you seen what this is? It's all car stuff. It's in the 30% clear. Oh, I've got to look through this. Car soap. Car's bubble bath with... <gasps> Pit stop, Zip Zip. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's for the car. Look. <laughs> I picked them up because I thought they were for Jasper. Mmm. Mmm, what not to feed your dog? Yeah, so I've been using Android Pay for the last... Yeah, more, but in the last week they've... Well, the last week that I've been using it, they've started a Collect the DC Comic Book Heroes, and I was missing Wonder Woman, and I haven't been able to have the opportunity out here in Ireland, because it's not mainstream enough, to collect her, and thank you to uh, Lidl. I've now got Wonder Woman, and I've completed the collection. Thank you. Third Irish supermarket of the day. Look at that. I know. I'm 
me and all I'm thinking is we haven't had lunch yet. Stuffed chicken. Stuffed with what? Five euro for those. Yep, I understand that it says um, four euro ninety nine, but you don't get the cent change if you're paying cash. Do you an in cart of people? Cheese. Friendly cheese lovers are. Local produce. A happy pear veg soup company. Yeah, lobsters. We're gonna have some. You gonna try some with us? Crab and lobster, you gonna try some? Oh, go on, you gotta try it. I'll cook it, I really will cook it nicely. Can I choose him? Yeah. Can I name him Pinchy? So the real reason we came is to show you what free from looks like in Ireland. This is a complete free from aisle. This whole length, this whole sec small section here. I mean, I say small, but this is big. It's pretty. It's a pretty decent array. Some big brand names and such like. The reason I talk about this so much is I have a lactose intolerance, which that's all your stuff that doesn't need to be essentially chilled. But the, the fact they've got these is pretty cool. I wouldn't say that willpower is really our thing. Which one are we getting? Or do you want a gammon? I mean, you like gammon. And that'll do it all, all of us. And you get some really nice crusty bread. Yeah? That sounds lovely. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 crusty brown bread. <laughs> really self conscious that she was being recorded now all of a sudden. Did not realise that. Vlogs for the fire acquired. Third Start supermarket of the day done. Ha <laughs> ha